So we designed the house in a way where the backyards of the two home actually became the courtyard as the main catalyst where the family interaction happens. It's a very modern and with a very contextual sensibility. But it also is a very beautiful example of how modern homes with a cultural value should be. Hi, this is Varun Goel and today we are going to be talking about the Courtyard House in Bhilai. For any more information related to the project, please visit buildofi.com. It's a double corner plot. The plot was bought by the families in a way that each of the plot faces two ends of the street. So each of the homes actually had entrances from the right and left. But because we were making a joint property, we made the entrance come from the front. So there was road on all the three sides of the plot. And the road which was in front was the north. And the one which is the back of the house was south. So we can avoid all the openings over there. When we started following the offsets, we realized that the backyard of the, both the houses are getting very unused. That's where the whole idea generated that why not let the center of the house be a courtyard. The courtyard being my personal favorite space in this entire house, where both the families come together, they share moments of joy, there is always a sense of connectivity which is felt, sense of connectivity within the family members, a sense of connectivity with the nature, a sense of connectivity with the elements around the neighborhood. So the house started flowing from one house to another and we made both the living rooms around the courtyard. So this acts as living room of this particular house and this act as living room of this house. To the living room we had their joint drawing rooms which were more of formal spaces and private to both the homes in their own ways. Like the drawing room of this house, it faces the front garden and the drawing room of this house faces the courtyard on this side. Now, the main catalyst for any Indian joint family are the kitchens. So we made the kitchens place in a way that firstly, it followed the southeast quadrant in both the homes. Secondly, it also flew in a way that the person standing in this kitchen can have a direct visual accessibility. Each of the house had its very strategic entrances. So for this house, when you enter, the first thing you see is a beautiful wall with a play of black and white flooring on the two sides. And on the left, you see the drawing room. And on the right, you have the living room. The main characteristic of this living room is that of this black staircase. This black monolithic wall along with the black staircase act as a very beautiful sculptural marble. So the skylights are the most important and vital part of the space. There's always a very beautiful play and drama of light happening throughout the day. Till now you were in the most expansive proportions of the home where there were a lot of openness. So we thought that bedroom should be very intimate. We kept the bedroom openings very minimal just for the sake of light to enter the house. From both the bedrooms, you go to the dresser, which are itself very beautifully designed. For example, this bedroom has got a dresser where you can see an amazing carpentry of the wooden details. And when you go to the washroom, it's just a plain marble washroom. It's a very serene place. It's a very calm place where you can have your own personal time. And when we go to the right side plot of the joint house, as soon as you enter, you see this beautiful staircase which is made up in white marble. 
the idea was always to give characteristic elements as very individual to each home where we use the black staircase as the main design element in the living room and here using white staircase which was the main element we you see as soon as you enter the house on the left you have the living room and the drawing room also there's kitchen on the southeast portion of this house on the right side is the place where both the bedrooms get stacked over each other when you go from the ground floor to the first floor the main transition you feel is the spaces having its definition through the corridor we tried taking the most advantages of the big trees in the site around our plot we made all the rooms open up seeing some tree or some kind of natural surrounding around the plot we have two bedrooms again in the first floor in both the houses all the bedrooms have got a different character to itself but all the four bedrooms have got its connected dressers and connected toilets the toilets being having very different characteristic feature to it so one house has where got a home theater the other house has got a gym in the fifth room of both the houses together they make a 10 bedroom house and individually they make up a 5 bedroom house as the functions were getting satisfied the equal importance was given on the form also both the houses had their individual identity along with creating a big identity of its whole each face of the house had a beautiful composition of windows the geometries were quite simple and were quite cohesive to each other the selection of this particular marble the main reason was that we wanted something which is very indigenous the family being a family which have traveled from rajasthan years back and now have settled in chatisgarh i wanted small glimpses of their traditions the small glory of their traditions to be a part of this house hence we went all the way to rajasthan we selected the entire lot of this grey marble which is the nizarna marble and contrasting to it we used a black stone which is locally available in chatisgarh the entire material which was used in the house was sourced from within the country nothing was sourced from abroad and was made indigenous to the country also it is very cost economic it has got a very good climatic value also to it other than flooring we have used marble in the kitchen dado we have used marble over the counter tops the reason for using stone over the counter top was that it's scratchless unlike wood and in all the washrooms you will see most of the basin counters are all flooded with marble and all the wastage of the marbles were also used in some kind of strips some kind of patterns throughout the house we tried using a beautiful molded skirting in our kitchen in our toilet so that it does not holds any dust the whole palette of the house being very simple and minimal the whole detail started happening when we started thinking about the furnitures each furniture was thoughtfully designed and thoughtfully sourced and curated the fabrics were very carefully chosen most of the furnitures were made in the burma teak wood and specially few furnitures were sourced in a way that it resonates the mid century designs of the furniture because the house which we ended up designing was very timeless it was very simple minimal black and white is never going to get out of fashion connection is with nature is never going to get out of fashion so every element which we wanted to make for this house resonated the timelessness of its as a main characteristic